We was just coaching youth football several years ago. And we in the Darren Rose Bowl, we just think about, wow, like, this is unbelievable. Looks off his right, throws it out there, and it is intercepted by the Buffaloes. Who else? Travis Hunter. That cat is special. Barbers, another short throw across the middle, delivering a huge shot in Shiloh Sanders. The ruling of targeting has been confirmed. Number 21 has been disqualified. Garbers right down the seam, and just like that, it's a UCLA touchdown. And it's over and ends with a UCLA victory, 28-16 over the Buffaloes. I, I know we got our butts kicked. We lost today. But I'm happy with what I see in the future because you can see how close we are to being what we desire to be. Welcome into Coach Prime's playbook. And uh, you know what? The outcome may be not what you wanted, but where I want to start, Coach, is with Shador, first and foremost. Right. Just how's he feeling? I know you said he got... You know, sore. <laughs> he's sore. He's walking with a little... He's yeah. walking like me right now. Yeah. Yeah. Is he feeling a little better? He's getting better. Okay. We, we're going to hold him out to probably uh, Thursday. Okay. Because he could, he could go probably Wednesday and scale and Thursday, Friday. He'll be ready for Saturday. One thing about, besides the fact that he is just tough as nails, but... Every time, no matter what happens in that game, he never points a finger. Right. He always takes it on the chin. He says, it was right. me. I got to get the ball out faster, whatever it is. But, you know, we talk about leaderships as quarterbacks, and I'm curious. Is that something that, that's just in him to know that? Have you talked to him about that? Because, you know, well, the best quarterbacks, you take the glory, you take the blame. Yeah, but he's, uh, you know, and his nickname is grown. He's very mature Yeah. Um, for where he is right now in life. He sees the bigger picture, and he understands by just talks we've had and just by watching things that we've shared mm -hmm. um, as a father and son and family, how they handle certain situations. Mm -hmm. So he does not flinch in the, in the face of adversity. You talk about tough, though. We, were, we, we had Coach Payne in here last week, and she right. was talking about, you know, Bossy hurt her thumb in practice, and she just kept going yeah, there to basically yeah. pull her out. Is That's this right. like a, a, a Sanders signature, yeah. toughness? Yeah, it has to go on. Yeah. Because ain't nobody going to have no pity party for you. Ain't nobody going to be crying for you or get, passing you napkins or anything <laughs> like that. But you know what? We have a lot of young men on this team that, that they have the same thought process. Mm -hmm. They're really tough, and I'm yeah. proud of them. Another guy that's tough, Travis Hunter. We know he right. wanted to play with the, with the, with the liver injury. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we talk about Travis, obviously you see the athleticism. But the football IQ right. on those two picks, can you just talk about his he, football he, IQ. He just, uh, he has a feel for the game and a knack for making the big play because he's always in position. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, you know, they want to make the big play, but you, if you're not in position to make the big play, he does what he's supposed to do, get his hands on one and, and find two on the turn, and he just, and he's a receiver, so he makes the, 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 uh, the acrobatic catch. Um, you know, he had two interceptions, but he would have had three had mm -hmm. we not tipped one of the balls down. Yeah. And, uh, when we were uh, back in the end zone, because the quarterback didn't even see him. Yeah. And, he, yeah. Uh, and you could see him reacting in the back of the end zone because he would have had his third. But the kid is a phenomenal player, and uh, I'd never worry about him. Uh, uh, is he going to show up to play? Mm -hmm. When you look at Travis, and everybody wonders every week, is he going to play DB or wide receiver in the mm -hmm. NFL? Yeah. Do you think there's still a place to play both? Yeah, I think... Uh, any organization that drafts him would be idiotic not to give him an opportunity yeah. to play on both sides of the ball because he have value. We all talk about adding value. Mm -hmm. He adds value to both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. He don't have to play both ways the entire game, but you got to have packages on offense and defenses that that guy plays the entire game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we can't wait to watch him play another entire game against OSU. That brings mm -hmm. us to who's next. The Buffs taking on another ranked opponent this week. It's number 16, the Oregon State Beavers. Want to throw the bubble. Instead, a double move down the sideline. It's Irish to the end zone. Second down, long to the end zone. It is caught by Anthony Gold. Touchdown, Oregon State. DJ Uwe on the lay is throwing darts. DJ Uwe all day. Just wow. Flat feet. Can we get your Dorsey? <laughs> a well-built team over there in Corvallis, six yeah. and two. They are coming off a loss, though. But man, they play well. They're almost perfect in the red zone. Twenty-six sacks. That's third in the Pac-12, and they are one win away from their third straight winning season. A lot of that due to the reigning Pac-12 Coach of the Year, John Smith. 
I think that team battles, and I don't go to the extent of struggling. This league is tough and competitive. They have been competitive throughout, uh, dramatically different than, you know, let's face it, last year. And so this is a good football team. They can score in bunches. One of the best quarterbacks we're going to play, uh, defensively flying around. The home atmosphere that they've created, you can just see it on tape. It's a, it's a tough place. Well, you heard him there say one of the best quarterbacks they're going to play. But I also heard you say, hold on, look how much time their quarterback is <laughs> oh, yeah. getting. They have a line. We got a game plan going yeah, in this yeah, week? Yeah, they, they have a line that protects their quarterback as well. They have a line that are, are physical and they run mm -hmm. the football. They pride themselves on being physical up front on both sides of the ball. And we got a, we got a task ahead of us, but our guys, are, I'm pretty sure they're going to be up for the challenge. Yeah. We've got game plans on both sides of the ball that, that I'm – really proud of and happy with this week. So I can't wait to see how we go out there and respond. Uh, talking about game plans, you know, last week Tim Brewster told us nobody lays out the keys to success better than you. We love some keys to success. <laughs> What's the keys to, to getting away? <laughs> uh, it's, 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 a, it's a multitude of keys. I can't regurgitate all the multitude of keys that I may give the young man on this team. But uh, we got to take care of our responsibilities. Everybody says that, but it's, it's, it's not as sim simplistic as one may say. Mm -hmm. We got to take care of the little things, get back to the basic fundamentals of football, blocking and tackling, blocking and tackling, blocking and tackling, and then we'll see how it plays out. You know, speaking of tackling, there's a guy who's doing that pretty well pretty good. on this team. Pretty you good. know what? We're going to meet him and chat about it right yeah. on the other side. Stick around.